Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Yep, it's the world's most dangerous morning show, The Breakfast Club. Charlemagne the God, Jess Hilarious. Oh, with Lil Duval as hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Making his uh, every five year appearance. Yeah, man, I'm finally mm -hmm. here. He's been trying to get me here for a while, but I've been pushing it off. I think it's been five years, right? Has it been five years? It's the last, when the last time Duval been there, Nick? Three or four, yeah. Three or four? It's been that long. It's been that long. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm here now, man. They finally got me. I ain't had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling? I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. I can't even complain, man. I'm just here, just. Promoting this uh, podcast we got. Conversations I, with Unc. Conversations with Unc that yeah. I've been doing, that I've been supposed to do it, but they finally got me to do it, so I'm here. What the hell finally made you sit down and say, I'm going to do a podcast? Mm -hmm. I hate talking to him like I don't talk to yeah, him every day. Yeah, I hate day. doing I it too. We going to fake it. This going to be the boringest goddamn <laughs> man. Because I'm not going to say shit. He's not going to ask me shit that I don't want to talk about, so it's just, what are we doing? But what is Conversations with Unc, though? Like, what, what, like, this is some shit that they... They made me do, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Honestly, because like, honestly, since day one, Charlamagne been telling me to get in the podcast since he been, how long y'all been doing Brilliant Idiot? 11 years, man. Huh? 11 years, and I never did it, and then. Well, you when, started and stopped. You had the one with your sister. Yeah, I stopped. I, oh, okay. Because I, I did that just for my sister, then I stopped, and then I got hit by that car, and I was sitting there, and had nothing to do, and then Clay talked me into doing this, right. so mm. I'm doing it. <laughs> how you doing since that? What? Since your accident. Oh, I'm good. I can't even complain. I'm blessed, man. I I I healed back perfectly. I can I can do everything now. So I'm blessed, man. Yeah. That ain't the question you asked earlier. What he asked? <sighs> what she asked? What I said? I said you yeah, ask him. But I don't know. Oh, what? No, I said, did you fall? So you fell off the roof or you fell off the on roof. the roof? What she talking about? Something about a roof. <laughs> no, I got hit by a car. I mean, Yo, I got hit by a car on my four wheeler. And I was on it. Yeah, okay. So I was on a tour with you. You had a whole. It was like a cartoon. It was set up. It was. Oh dope. yeah, that's how far I got but hit. I like thought, I really got hit and flew. Like, yeah, I and really you saw flew. the roof and all. I, yeah. I remember seeing the roof. You seen everything. It was like you was like a plane. Yeah, yeah. And I really I flew. Like, yeah, that's what okay. you, you see me saw the roof. Mm -hmm. I was able to see the roof. That's how high I was in there. Okay. Like I flew. Like I, I really almost died. And we so. was and we was laughing at the shit because he actually used it. In, this in nigga the, here wasn't shit. I told this nigga. This nigga ain't even ain't even believe me. Clay had to call this nigga. And tell <laughs> what him. happened? I called him first. Was you the first one I called him? He FaceTimed me from the scene. I FaceTimed him. I was laying I on the ground movie. bleeding to death. Oh, my yeah, God. I was bleeding to death. And I you swear called, I thought he was in a movie, man. And you FaceTimed Charlamagne Yes. God? I called him to tell him to call Ludacris. He did? For <laughs> what? I don't know. He was like, he was like, man, I think this is me. I'm never going to dance again. I'm never going to perform again. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I said it was over, man. I kept saying it was oh. over. Well, first I, I told him to call Trey the truth. Because, you know, Trey is always yeah, there yeah, to let a helping hand. That's what I hung up with him. <laughs> and I had to call. Clay and Clay, Clay, Clay spoke spoke life into me. Okay. This nigga here, I was thinking you might as well no, die. I, I called Clay <laughs> to see what was going on because I, I swear I thought he was playing until the end mm. when I saw the doctors turning him around and then he started oh. like screaming in a way. I'm like, Ooh. everybody Duval thought I was that playing until I went live. For mm. real, for real. When I went live and and I showed them drilling my knee live, yeah. like I, doing yep, surgery, yep. that was like, oh, this nigga ain't playing. Yeah. So shit, man. But. I you know, made it through, man. You're going to have to tell this story a million times for the rest of your life just because it is such a testimony. I do tell it on stage. That's yeah, why yeah. I leave it on stage. That's why I ain't telling too much now because I want to leave it for stage. Yeah, 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 I try yeah. to give separation for both, to give a little bit here and a little bit on stage. So that's yeah. what I do now. That's why I ain't telling too much of it. But I do I do talk about it on stage. It actually kind of pushed my stand-up more because it, it left the elephant in the room. I ain't had no choice but to be right. on. I was in a wheelchair. Was you there when I, I was there? Because yeah. DC had rolled you up in a wheelchair and everything. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people showed me love like mm -hmm. matter of fact who gave me the most love was them handicapped people like my yeah. first show it was like 30 <laughs> handicapped motherfuckers mm. up front in wheelchairs and they they spoke life to me and everything man talking like, about welcome yeah, yeah. no nah, i'm talking about they like when i was messed up like they was dming me telling me i because i always showed love to them yeah. on social media and like yeah. up and like in jacksonville and stuff so when my time came they came and showed me love like i support up. anybody that's in the, in the wheelchair because they take a lot just to get up yeah. and just to get in that chair just every day, I don't see how they do it because I couldn't do it for six months. I was going crazy. That's good. You be shouting out the Crips now, but you ain't talking about well, the I gang. Well, I shout out the Crips. Not the gang. You be talking about the people in the wheelchair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shout out wheelchair gang. As you should. <laughs> but it, um, do you feel good, though? No, nah, I feel good, man. Like I like I say, Clay put me, took me. He instilled life into me, told mm -hmm. me I was going to make it. And then the last day I got off my crutch, and he went over. So he made it all the way 
to get me back on my feet and then went on over. That's crazy. Mm. That's life, man. No, yeah. that is life. Cause I, the, the, the last picture Clay posted was me, you, him, and Jay Ski. That's crazy. Was at Trap City. It was almost Trap like Man. a movie. Like he was really here just enough for me to get going, get back yeah. on my feet. So it was dope, though. I mean, it was. It's a beautiful thing, but mm -hmm. it's it just I had to go through it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I, I I don't regret nothing I went through. How do you find comedy in that though? It's life. Everything in life is comedy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The the most powerful comedy is the the stuff that that you went through the most. The the hardest things you went through the most. So that's comedy. I don't. I don't see I don't see having good comedy without hard shit. Yeah, you know? I really feel like uh, you are one of the the few people who make anything funny, or or if, even if it ain't funny mm -hmm. to other people. You, that's why I'm telling you, I didn't I didn't believe you either. I mean, it, that's <laughs> I why I ain't take it serious. And like, the what? audience was laughing like like we didn't. And the funny thing about it, like it. I told him, when we, I was like, when have I ever? Made a like I don't do those. Um, you know how people be out and and making fun of people. Yeah. And I don't never do no comedy like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So for when people thought it was yeah. jo joke, I was like, how y'all thought joke? I ain't never did no spoof <laughs> like this. I guess because we don't really take nothing serious, which yeah, is what, which is we don't do not. <laughs> but I don't, and I get it. That's why I didn't take it personal. I don't take none of that stuff personal. Yeah. But it just like I was like, damn, why? How could they even think that I was joking? Mm -hmm. And I'm. Maybe because I was doing it myself, I was really bleeding to death yeah. right there. I'm like, they don't know I'm really dying. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, the funny part is people think Duval be joking, but a lot of the ways he moves is how we should live in life. Like a lot of us take on other people's problems. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I sent him something the other day and I was like, man, look what this person going through. And he didn't respond <laughs> back. And then so yesterday we start talking about something. I said, yeah, but you ain't say nothing about such and such. And he was like, because I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and I was like, he right. Right. Why did I give a fuck? <laughs> you know? I want to say something about it, but I, I end up saying their name, so I ain't going to say it. No, but. don't say that. Please, <laughs> <please, laughs> <don't. laughs> please don't. Please nah. don't. You've been in comedy for 25 years, right? Yeah, this is my 25th Dang. year, man. Mm. This, and that's that's really not a lot in comedy. It's just, it's just like, you yeah, I think somebody like Cedric and Bruce and them, they've been doing it for like, damn near 40, 50 years. How long? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think even Mike Epps, shout out Mike Epps, he's been doing it. Shit, at least by like 40. 30. Nah, right, 40? Not if I've been doing years. it 20, wait, I was a kid watching them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if but, I was, shit, Michael Blackson been doing it as long as I, longer We didn't than realize me. how old they was when we was young though. Nah, yeah. Or how did. young they was when we was young. I've been doing it 25 years, 99. Cause Mike ain't nothing but like 50 something. Yeah, 50, I, I don't know how old Mike is. Yeah, Mike like 50 something, but he been doing a long time, 53. so for, for 25 years sound like a long time, but it really not in comedy yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying, it's really not. Mm -hmm. But it's part of life, I love it. Let me ask yeah. you another basic interview question. How do you feel about the state of comedy? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I do me, I, I create my own lane and people follow me, so. I, I create my own stand up, so I don't really pay. I long as people, I don't I don't judge other comedians. If people laughing at them, they doing their thing. So I don't give a fuck. Mm. Do you care about the type of jokes you make at this point? Nope, I makes whatever I feel like. What goes? I don't. My shit. My shit. Well, my stand is more so entertaining. Like I, I they call I call myself Sammy David Duval. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I do more than just stand up. I do stand up comedy, entertaining, laugh, dance. Yeah. We gonna do everything on my shit. Yeah, and that's why I feel like the evolution of of our people are. Like, we don't want to just sit there and just watch stand up. We think mm -hmm. we do, but we really don't. Mm -hmm. Like, we, you sit there and watch six comedians and they everybody doing 25 minutes a piece. Back that's like back. three hours. You're going to be mm -hmm. asleep if they ain't doing some type of entertaining thing. Yeah. So that's why I understood. So I implement that in my show and keep them going. So it's your fault all these comedians started making songs. <laughs> he's saying that because he, he texts me that every week. See, that's your fault. <laughs> See, that's your fault. Every time somebody do something, that's you, that's you. I mean, I am, I guess, but mm -hmm. it's part of it. We gonna see more and more of it. It's just, I'm the only one that it actually perfected it and then took it to another level that made a hit song, but I see people like DC Young Fly, all they need is one song, mm -hmm. and that shit gonna take Boom. them to that next level. You know what I'm saying? DC take it too serious, though. No, he don't. You don't think so? Mm, like, he really wanna he be an artist. Music is what and he wanted to do I mean, do that's, anyway, all, that's what a comedian yeah. is. We are artists, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's just people don't know it. It's just we ain't we haven't been taught that, but I feel like all of us in one, like, like I always say, I mean, comedies, music, all the, that's all it's, that's all entertainers was at first. Yeah. That's what Sammy Davis do. I mean, Sammy Davis Jr. was. Mm -hmm. He did everything. That's what um, Frank Sinatra did. He did everything. So that's what it's coming back to. She do it. Everybody mm -hmm. who don't do it. DC gonna get it when he not trying to get it. 
Cause you got one when you wasn't trying to yeah, get one. Yeah, I really wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I can't talk like it. See, he know how I got it. That one day. My, we yeah, got I'm about, gonna do it. We got about five more years where we can really talk. Nah, I'm gonna do ten. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna wait till I'm like sixty five. You wait till sixty five? You gonna wait that long? Yeah. When Quincy Jones came, I started talking crazy. He was eighty something, man. Yeah, that's when Damn. I'm gonna do it. Eight ain't that long though, cause I they say in like five more years everybody be able to live forever. So if I can stay alive and not do nothing mm. crazy yeah. in five years, I'm gonna be good. So you really want to live forever? I want to live until I don't give a fuck no more. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I honestly, I want to live, like I always, I think I said, I keep saying the same thing on this goddamn show, so it's kind of, <laughs> if they watch the interviews, they gonna hear the same mm -hmm. shit, but I want to live long enough just to see how this shit play out. Yeah. I want to see how life play out, just to see how this shit evolve, because this shit entertaining to me. You know what's interesting? If we knew what was next, we probably wouldn't even be in a rush to stay here. I do know what's mm -hmm. next. I make what's next. You make what's next. We I'm all talking about next after life. Oh, I do know what's that too, from watching people die. When I watch mm. people down their death pad, you know it's something bigger than this. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So when I when I watch Kool Aid die, when I watch him take like try to take that thing out of his out of his, out of his mouth, I was like, oh nah, it's something else after. You you when you see stuff like that, it makes you realize this ain't it's this is something bigger than this. Mm -hmm. What about Nod? I still don't, I just found, I heard this story for the first time a few weeks ago, but yeah. I still don't believe this damn story. What? Well, Nod came back to life. <laughs> Nah, Nard came back to life to cuss people out. Nard, Nard is a comedian who used to be on the road with Nard you. Nard was the first person to give me the microphone. Mm -hmm. I took him on the road with me afterwards. And mm -hmm. we, me, Mike Epps used to take him on the road, and I took him on the road with me. And then um, he died while I was in the hospital. He died while I was in the hospital. but Well, first time he died while I was in the hospital. And then we started getting money up for his funeral. And then the nigga came back to life. How did he die the first time? I forgot. I, I think he died from... Man, he was already sick a little okay. bit already, but I honestly don't even know how Clay died. I, I think it was an aneurysm. Mm -hmm. Like, sure. I don't keep up with how people die. We mm -hmm. all gonna die, so it's, yeah. it don't really matter, but mm -hmm. he and died. Clay had a stroke aneurysm, I think. Yeah, he might have died like that, but he died and came back to life, cussed it, got on live. It's on his live. He got on live, cussed his people out, and told them he, they took his money, his teeth was damn near falling out, mm. and then he tried to do stand up. He went to the club, tried to do stand up, tipped them there, and then go home. Then shit, he died. He got married. He got too. married too. Yeah, he got married. Then he, <laughs> Damn. So he, I, I really, I believe that you could live long enough to do what you need to do, then then take it to the next level. So he mm. got married. I guess he wanted to get right with God. So he was a zombie for a week, basically. Yeah, he. I mean, he oh, looked so like he only lived for a week. No, he lived about a month. Oh, a month. Okay, I thought okay. it was like a couple weeks, and then I looked at the timeline. I was like, nah, this nigga lived for like a month, mm. a month or two. You've been enjoying the Drake Rick Ross feud though. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It was better than when J. Cole, because I was really rooting for J. Cole's, man, but then. Why? Why not? Like I, I never, because I knew they wasn't going to die. I knew it wasn't going to be no beef. But I didn't think yeah. Cole and Kendrick even had an issue to want to even go at each they other. They did. Like that. You could tell, like, if you look back at the old stuff, like, they had, like, a little competition. So that was good <laughs> enough. Like, they, it, was, it was lyrical warfare, and then this nigga tapped out after you gave a. It was cool. Like even it, when I was, I don't know how how, how um, recent that interview was with Kendrick with Bi with Big Boy, but he was like, man, old. huh? I think that's old. But even then, he was just like it was competition. It was like it was like I mean I I, I don't have no beef with him. I just don't think he better than me. But well, rap beef All is right. different though. Like you can't really have a friendly rap. Yes, competition. you can. Yeah. Not nowadays. Yes, you. you they just memes. proved it. So you really thought Kendrick and J. Cole were gonna come here as a? No, but J. Cole was boring. J. Cole. No, he was wasn't. So that, whack. I was. I was enjoying. And it. he was lying. He ain't believe none of that stuff. Half the shit be lies. So mom. you. I. I enjoy the half, half. So you thought all of what what's name was saying was real? Ooh. What Tupac was saying was real? Yes. No, you did. Tupac that I fucked Well, I did too. You yeah, I did, too. I did too. Right. I did too. Tupac I did too. But I was a kid. Was... It was we were supposed to believe it. Just like wrestling, you're supposed to believe that shit real until you get older. Yeah. Now I can enjoy it. I can enjoy it. Like these niggas not gonna die. But that's why Ross mm. is so entertaining because Ross comes from a certain era. Yeah, Ross and Drake was actually got a lot good. of that in it. I mean, I think Ross gave a real like beef response. And it was quick. That's why you got to give his shit props. Like, Ross gave his shit back. Like, yeah. we still ain't heard Kendrick yet. I'm, and that's what I'm rooting mm -hmm. for. Kendrick's he's my boy. Like, I fuck with Kendrick. He dark skinned. He a Gemini. You the same he my height. nigga. Yeah. He, we ain't <laughs> the same height. Not the same yes, height. Is. We are? That's why I do. That's I'm trying why. to think. When I met him, was he? I don't even yes. remember. Nah, he ain't. Nah, I, yes, I know who everybody is. I'm taller than. I know everybody I'm taller than. You know everybody he's taller than. Yeah, it's not everybody. that many people. Nah, I'm taller than everybody that's short. Everybody that's short, I'm taller than. I'm the tallest. 
I'm taller than Kev. I'm taller than who else short? You taller than Kevin? Yeah, I'm tall. Who else short out here? Um, that's on YouTube. You can look on YouTube mm, and see. We, we went back and forth with that one. Mm -hmm. That was about 10, wow. 15 years ago. 15. Long back. <laughs> yeah. About 15. Everything you done seen viral now, we done done it 15 years ago. It just got resurfaced. <laughs> Fake rap battles. Yeah, we done done. Me and him done done a bunch of skits. We was probably don't, the first one. Please don't one have him go looking for nothing. No, nah, don't do none of that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Don't bring up none of our past. Matter of fact, you deleted it, ain't no? You deleted it. <laughs> I think about one all the time. Now I'm just waiting. Nah, delete that. <laughs> Who got it? Is it on my? I don't know where it's at. <laughs> tell me about it once this I shit over with. I delete it. Did y'all hit Baltimore yet for the We The Ones? We do that this weekend. Y'all doing Baltimore? Nah, we do Baltimore. I can't wait. Like Baltimore, Baltimore always man. showed me love, too. Yeah. I even, I just looked at a picture. Like, sometimes I be doing shit, and I don't be knowing why I do it. Maybe you could tell me where this shit at. Mm. But I was in some hood. Oh, let me see. In I, Baltimore? You yeah. Still, you love going to the hood. Yes. I do Jesus. love going to the hood. I just love it. And it ain't on no street shit. I just, I just, just feel like perfect girl. there. Like, I feel comfortable. I feel perfect there. That's really what I'm here for, these the niggas, hood. man. Like, <laughs> the, I really feel like I'm here for these niggas, man. I love Yo. these niggas, man. But I was in Baltimore. I'll show it to you after this shit. But I was oh, somewhere man. in Baltimore. And, they, and you wouldn't even, like, when I'm around, like, the the, the streetest niggas, they don't be on that street shit around me. Yeah, because they yeah. want to laugh. They yeah. Wanna, yeah, yeah, not even just laugh. It's just like we just, they not even. It's a vibe. Like, you relate. They relate to you. Yeah, it's not. And I'm not, like, trying to be, like, on no street nigga yeah. shit. It's just like they just, it just brings out the, I think they turn back to the, the being my nephew or some yeah. shit. Like, they don't look at me like that. So I bring that good energy to them. And that's what, I, that's what I got when I went in Baltimore. I got to do that dance, too, when I come on stage. That What's that oh, shit y'all be doing? The two-step Park Kite Strut. Yeah, Park I got to do that yeah. shit. So I'm doing that shit with my man. Park Kite Strut. It came from a hood. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, so I gotta do that shit. And I gotta do our shit that y'all that y'all call something else. We call it the what? city boy, but y'all oh. call it something else. Some shit where y'all that shit like y'all do like that. Oh though. my god, my little sister be doing Yeah, that ain't nothing but the city boy called. that y'all done renamed, but Wayne, I don't know. I got it from Baltimore too. Yeah, I know so Baltimore. I we we talked about it on social media. <laughs> we we went back and forth about it, but we we go there this weekend with the We the Ones tour. That's that's a okay. hard ass tour, man. Yeah. We all doing that thing. It's you, Mike Epps, Chico, Carlos, D C, D Ray. Yeah, and we Whoa, selling yeah. our shit too. Money like, back mafia. Yeah, all, uh, and we all showing love. Like everybody ain't no egos. Everybody doing their thing. We all encouraging each other. I like that. If anything, I'm the one doing the, doing the most. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I have to shorten my time up because I really be doing too much. But yeah. and I hate and I and it, it is disrespectful as a comedian. Like you don't want to go over your time, especially when you got so many comedians on there. It ain't about being the funniest. It's just when you're going over your time, three minutes don't sound like a lot, but mm -hmm. it really is a lot. Mm -hmm. If you got five other comedians and that last person going up, he got to wait. Because I have to go up last sometimes too, and I hate going last yeah. too. So you want to be respectful for that. But in all in all, we all doing it. If I go over too much, then Mike might, might shorten his time or Chico or somebody mm -hmm. like that. So we all doing our thing. Somebody died at the show, right? I ain't talking about that. Damn, man. Go ahead nigga. on. He want to go straight to that. <laughs> Where? I knew I ain't going to that. Oh mean? my God. Nah. Yeah, we doing our thing, man. We the ones <laughs> to... <laughs> Is it a comedian that you, uh, that you hate going after, though? Mm mm. No. Nah, I can go after anybody. I don't yeah. give a fuck. I know there ain't nobody. I can go after. People don't like going after me. Mm. But anybody that go after me, they doing their thing. That's why I show love to, to DC, like all the new comedians. Well, I don't even, they not even new no more, but all the, the ones that came up after me. The younger ones, yeah. Yeah, the younger ones, if they can go up after me, they the truth. And all them niggas go up after me and they all do their thing. Yeah. You wanted to, you know, people be wondering how you stay so relevant on social media, but you were the social media guy early, 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 early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all was. You was too. You know what I'm saying? We all was. It just, we grandfathered in now, so ain't no stopping me on social media. Like, yeah. you could try. Mm -hmm. They done deleted me so many goddamn times. It is what it is at this point. <laughs> how has social media helped you as a, as a artist? Just like anything else, it's just another form of way of doing entertainment, just another outlet. Mm -hmm. So I just took that outlet and capitalized off of it, mm -hmm. just like whatever next. If I mm -hmm. give a fuck, I'ma jump on that too. Mm -hmm. As if I give a fuck, but I'm getting older now. You know what we done talked about. <laughs> Is there anything you wanna do that you haven't? I feel like I'm doing what I wanna do. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've I've, I've um, already uh, planted the seeds of what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just watching the bitches flourish and mm -hmm. doing everything. And I don't like to talk about what I'm doing. I just like to do it now. Yeah. Because when you talk about it, it kind of takes the impact from it. Duval, one of them people that truly appreciates everything he has. That's mm -hmm. why he gets blessed with more. 
That's the problem with the era we live in. Nobody appreciates where they at in yeah. the current moment. And everybody moment. just do what they see work. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's that's less, that's what made it so hard for me to get into podcast now is because I feel like podcast is is just another. I mean, it's good, but it's it's like what you do. It's media. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like when we started, we all that was our thing. I don't want to do what he do, and he don't want to do what I yeah. do. It's just now that entertainment has, has evolved over to more media now, not everybody doing it. So I feel like that's what we got to do. Well, I don't give a fuck about media like yeah. that. And that's what, we are entertainers. Mm -hmm. We not media, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But, or Jess is now. Well, yeah, you are now. You are, yeah. And you good at it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You good at it. But this ain't, I could do this shit, but I really just like entertaining. I like just being in the public. I, I'm a social person. That's what social media, he media, I'm social. Mm -hmm. I'm social. That's why we work good together. I'm still social. He's still media. Just media is popping now. Yeah. And that's why everybody else going to it. That's why I ain't working for them. But it worked for people <laughs> like this nigga because this is really what he is. You right. know. I'm 25 years in. Yeah. And they trying to skip the line, but they ain't going to do it. They keep trying. They'll mm -hmm. see. We had a uh, draw call Michael on. Yeah. And he said, um... <laughs> he, said <laughs> he said, comedy is a dying art. I what mean, about it just evolved, you know. Yeah, it just evolved. It's, we look at stand up, we because that's all we got. But stand up mm -hmm. is damn near like the blue. I mean, like jazz now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's still there, but it's evolved into the shit that I'm doing now. The shit that social media now. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. though they ain't comedians, but we we program motherfuckers over 15, 20 years of social media to make them think that they comedians. So. The public think that's that's comedian, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's just all it is. It's, I don't see no difference. I mean, stand up and stand up, and it just evolves into something else. Is it an attentive audience at y'all shows? Because you got you, you got DC, all these. It people is that... the way way we do it. Okay. You know, the way we do it, you make it attentive. At least the way I do it. You know what I'm saying? I make sure, I make sure the whole show good. I try to make make the balance to where it's a good time, where we having a a comedy party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, party. Yeah, it's a exactly comedy party. You, you know what I'm saying? So when yeah. so when it's when the when the say for instance, if if you ain't into the party part, you can be in the comedy part. If you ain't in the comedy part, you can be in the into the into the um, what I just said. I party just, party. The so party party. Like the party party. Yeah. So the I'm just party. both. I'm give I give it all and shit. That's what it is. So you like party party. I like to have a good time. Like I, I want to have everybody go home and say, "Man, we had a good time." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We gonna, I want to go to another show. Yeah. You know, and that's all it is. That's what you go. To, that's what you went to comedy clubs for. Mm -hmm. It just evolved now because we done seen so much comedy that that same comedy ain't gonna work no more. Just like on social media, like certain little jokes used to work. Now, over ten years later, them same jokes ain't gonna work no more. Mm -hmm. So you have to. It's the same thing. Well, we happy that you uh, decided to come here this morning so you don't get fined, man. We appreciate you, man. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate um, Black Effect and you and Dolly for being patient with a nigga because they been gave me the money for this shit. I don't even know if I got them. I think Clay got it. Clay definitely Damn. got the money. <laughs> so I don't even know if I even got all of it. But, but Clay wanted it to be all of y'all. Honestly, that's the real, real reason why Erica. I did it. It's just because Clay, me and Clay was, me and Clay was supposed to do this together. You know what I'm saying? So... So once he died, I just feel like it's my obligation to do this because I mean, mm. I was really doing it for him. To he, you've been telling me to do it, and I've been pushing this nigga off forever. Yeah. And then once Clay started talking to me, I was laying on that goddamn bed, I ain't had shit else going, doing. Mm. I was like, all right, I'll do it. And then once we start talking about it, and he started talking about what he wanted to do, it started making more sense to me. And then, then he died. I've been telling you, mm. you've been working too hard. Yeah, I really have. Like for people out here stealing money, but no, really, you want to. It's kind of hard. I just like doing what I do. I, it's hard for me just sitting here and, and see this as entertainment, just sitting here rambling, and that's all podcast mm -hmm. is to me. Mm -hmm. But maybe you had to just chill out. Maybe you. I mean, I do like it now. I mean, and I see the imp because I see the impact of it just with my my show. I just seen like it's doing pretty good. So I guess I was supposed to do it. Like a lot of stuff I don't like to do, but I do it if my friends and family tell me I should do it and mm -hmm. a, lot of that type, a lot of that type of stuff has actually worked in my favor so I listen to people that I trust yeah. which is people like this nigga and people like Clay and niggas like that you got you got guests? yeah I got guests on there uh, every episode yeah it's every okay, episode we, it's him and <coughs> we ain't even tell people what the podcast is about but it's him yeah, in like, conversation with different people yeah it's just me oh, talking okay. to people people talking to me trying to give me trying to ask me for advice and just mm -hmm. ask me advice on life not on business mm -hmm. not on on entertainment, just regular life stuff. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, I think we got enough, enough um, gurus on 
on on goddamn business and yeah. how to get money, and we see where that took us. You not a fan <laughs> of seminars? Hell no, nah. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> I don't get enough credit for how many sh- how much shit I done turned down from not fucking over our people. <laughs> mm. I hit him a couple. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say nothing. nothing yeah, man, let's no. be quiet. <laughs> See, y'all two got damn censored for an interview. No, no, no. I no, am just... censored now. It's just not so much for me. It's just I understand how, especially nowadays, people looking for shit to grab. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I ain't finna give it to them. I ain't, I've never been a nigga to try to go viral. It just, it just, it just happened. happened. Yeah. You know, so you won't get it. Downstairs, motherfucker TMZ just tried to run up on me. What I mean? sang a gospel song to his ass. To, uh, <laughs> she ain't know what What they ask you about? I don't know. I just started singing gospel. I said, God is on my side. And she I just walked kept, away. And she was like, what the fuck? She ain't know what to do. Well, listen, download Lil Duval's Conversations with Unk, available everywhere you listen to podcasts. Go check out the Hold Weedem. on, what else am I forgetting? The We yeah, Ones Comedy Tour. We Them Ones Comedy Tour. You got the Rich Broke Store in Rich Jacksonville. Rich Broke Store. Yeah, I just opened up. Well, I ain't opened it up yet. I'm building it right now. She be opened up by the time we the, the We Them Ones Tour hit Jacksonville. We on in Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's over there on the north side on Bunker Hill, right off Edgewood. If you're from Jacksonville, you know what it is. So it's right man. in the hood. You know, I did that just for my community, just to have a storefront for everybody to come show love. And yeah. I'll be selling like my merchandise, my old lady's little lip gloss and stuff she got <laughs> going on, this, a little healing cream, the stuff that healed all the scars that are on my body. So. Mm-hmm. And what else I got? Did Duval you learn Day. A lot of that stuff Duval work? Day on uh, July 13th. I do Duval, Duval Day. Day. Y'all come on In down there. Yeah, that's yeah. that's some hood shit. Like if you remember Black College Weekend or Freak Neek, it's like that, but safer. And you mm-hmm. won't go to jail for doing nothing crazy. You had Sexy Red out there early. Oh, she yeah. Was there like yeah, two yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah. Right? yeah. Now that was last year. That was last year? Yeah, that show you how, damn, how much a year fast. can change, mm-hmm. man. A year could change. Like I just knew when I saw her on on social media, I was like, "Nah, she next." And then when she came to Jacksonville, and I saw how how Jacksonville bitches was a receptive to her, yeah. I was like, "Oh nah, she finna go yeah. somewhere." She because she represent really what the street said, and she done apologetic. Yeah. And what was really the hardest thing about it, where I respect her, because when she had that baby, she didn't get her body done. Mm. She mm-hmm. just and that's what a lot of I think that's what a lot of people connected with her. She didn't get her body done, so she was just like a real hood bitch. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I fuck with her. Did you yeah. realize all that healing cream and stuff worked when you was going through your healing process? <sighs> Hell no. Nah, I realized, I did everything, man. Everything Dolly told me to do, everything. I tried Dev. Everything. Yeah, Dev. <laughs> Shout yeah. out Dev, man. Dev, she spoke to me, and she she did all that stuff that she do. All that shit worked. Rinky, man. So yeah, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> Rinky. <laughs> I don't, I'm, yeah, I'm not. I don't know the the terminology, none of that yeah. shit. But all that shit worked, man. So yeah. anything that I tell y'all to do that they work for me, it kind of worked. Right. <laughs> Let me tell it. <laughs> and you see, you made the wall. I did. Yeah, you right up there yeah, next to Dick Gregory. Oh, nah, yeah, that's hard, man. You see what I'm saying? Right yeah. above Sweetie. That's like love that. for real, yeah. though, because I, you know, I done done a lot of these arenas. Like we've been to all these arenas, yeah. and I looked at that, I like, I ain't know none of that this shit. This is a radio station, man. Yeah, yeah that shit. I, like I ain't, cause I don't really pay. I don't never ask for that type yeah. of shit. I never went to the comedy club, and I done sold out every comedy club in America. Yeah. And I never wrote my name on the wall. I never do none of that shit, cause I never did it for oh, that. Damn, no, you never signed to none of that. Never shit. none, none mm-hmm. of that shit. But then when I got hit by that car, and I started looking at all, I was like, damn. Yeah, I should have did all of that shit. I got, saved. They, they so I started saving all my jerseys that I got from them mm. arenas. He got the what you said? I think he got the shades he got on now. I, think. I do. They, oh yeah, yeah, I see all these on richbroke.com too. Mm. These these richbroke shades. These bitches hard. Yeah. So yeah, man. Lil Duval, ladies and gentlemen, we squeeze forty minutes out of this one. I don't know yes. how. Hold up, I'm hold on. I just <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah. There's a problem with this picture. What? You, you got me right there, mm. but look at Kev. His whole body, that's fucked up. Which, <laughs> yeah, but it's just your head, and that's Kev's whole yeah, body. Yeah, but I want my whole ass. body like this. This nigga got this. He's sitting down. He oh, leg that, kicked because, up because because he bought chairs for the studio years uh, ago. Oh, so I ain't spent no money. That's what that symbolizes. Him sitting on the chair, swinging his leg. I ain't spend no money. All right, cool. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Look, try find me where I'm at. Yeah, where you at? Yeah, just keep looking. We got, <laughs> got no because everybody always putting that chair there. That's why you oh, don't. Oh nah, no, yeah. You see it right next to. He gave you a hint and shit. Right next to Keith Lee? Yeah, right behind the engineer ass and he shit. Gave, he gave, they gave you no edges, Jess. No edges of... <laughs> she didn't have none at the time. Yes, I did. That was a, <laughs> yes, I did. That was a fucking frontal. How I ain't gonna have no edges oh, on the frontal? Oh, is that tip or gunner? 
That is Keith Lee. <laughs> I'm talking about right there. Yeah, that's next to me. That's Keith Lee. The nigga will be doing the. the, the that's f- Keith Lee. Yes. No, it's not. That's T.I., man. <laughs> who is that? That's Tip. That's Tip? Yes, man. I thought that was Gunner. I didn't know who the fuck that was. <laughs> Show that. Show that for them. Show that. You're the cameraman now? That's a new cameraman? No. That's my that's cameraman. cameraman. Oh, that's your cameraman. Oh, this cameraman. Cameraman. is a new cameraman. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's Lil Duval. It's the Breakfast Club. All right. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.